Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you how to calculate the inverse of a function. Okay, to do so, you need to follow two main steps. The step one is basically solve the given equation uh, for x in terms of y. Okay, and when you have done that, then to express the inverse of that function, all you need to do is to interchange x and y, and the resulting equation will be inverse of that function. Okay, so I'm going to solve some examples today to show you how it works. Okay, so let's assume example number one. Let's assume y is equal to a square root of 10 minus 3x. Okay, the question is what is the inverse of this function which is presented by f minus 1x? Okay, so how to calculate basically the inverse of this function? As I already uh, mentioned, first thing you need to do is to express x as a function of y. So to do that, I write here y2 is equal to 10 minus 3x. Okay, and from this equation, you can conclude that 3x is equal to 10 minus y2. Therefore, x will be equal to 10 minus y2 divided by 3. Okay, that is a step one, that is to express x as a function of y. And step two is to interchange x and y. That is, that means wherever you see x, you convert it to y, you change it to y, and wherever you see y, you convert it to x. Okay, so therefore, x here will be y equal to 10 minus, instead of y, I write x2 divided by 3. And that is basically the inverse of this function. Okay, so that's example number one. Okay, so let me solve another example. So if the function uh, y is defined as uh, 4x minus 1 divided by 2x plus 3. Okay, so the question is what is the inverse of this function? Okay, the same story. That is, first you need to, you need to express x as a function of y and then you interchange x and y. So here to do that, I multiply this y by this term. That is, that will be y times 2x, that will be 2xy plus y times 3, that will be 3y, will be equal to 4x minus 1. Okay. So I bring the 4x on this side, um, the, all the terms that contains basically x on one side, the others on the other side. So that means 2xy minus 4x will be equal to minus 1 minus 3y. So here I factor x that will be times 2y minus 4 is equal to minus 1 minus 3y and therefore x will be equal to minus 1 minus 3y divided by 2y minus 4. Okay, that is a step one. So a step two is to basically interchange x and y. So that means wherever I see x, I change it to y. Wherever I see y, I change it to x. That is minus 1 minus 3x divided by 2x minus 4. Okay, and, and this will be equal to the inverse of this function. Okay? So that's the uh, solution. Uh, let me solve another example. So if the function y is defined as 1 minus s square root of x divided by 1 plus s square root of x, the question is what is the inverse of this function? Okay, so again, the, to calculate the uh, inverse of this function, first you need to express x in terms of y and th then interchange x and y. To do that, I multiply y by this term that is y times 1 is equal to y, y times the square root of x that is y square root of x will be equal to 1 minus uh, square root of x. So I bring the square root of x to this side of the equation and y to the other side of the equation. That means y square root of x plus s square root of x is equal to 1 minus y. Therefore, s square root of x times y plus 1 will be equal to 1 minus y. Therefore, s square root of x will be equal to 1 minus y divided by 1 plus y. From here, you can conclude that x will be equal to 1 minus y divided by 1 plus y with the power of 2. Okay, so that's end of stage 1, step 1 basically. Step 2 is to change x to y and y to x. Therefore, here y will be equal to 1 minus x divided by 1 plus x with the power of 2 and that is your uh, basic inverse of that function. Okay, so <clears throat> that is the solution.
let me solve another example uh, that will be example number four so if the function y is defined as 2x3 plus 3 calculate the inverse of this function okay the same story again here first you need to express x as a function of y so from this equation you can conclude that 2x3 is equal to y minus 3 therefore x3 will be equal to y y minus 3 divided by 2 that means x will be equal to third root of y minus 3 divided by 2 and for that that is end of a st step one the step two is to basically wherever you see x you convert it to y and wherever you see y you convert it to x okay and that will be the inverse of your function okay and uh, let me solve another example here uh, function y is defined as 2x2 minus 8x the question is what is the inverse of this function okay so here I basically write 2x2 minus 8x minus y is equal to 0 so uh, the, you can solve this uh, question um, you can basically um, solve x as a function of y using this formula that you know ax2 plus bx plus c is equal to 0 from x will be equal to minus b plus minus uh, s square root of b2 minus 4ac divided by 2a okay so that's the solution of this equation so if you compare to that here a is equal to 2 b is equal to minus a and c is equal to minus y therefore from here you can conclude x will be equal to minus b that is minus minus 8 is 8 plus minus uh, b2 that is minus 8 with the power of 2 that is 64 minus uh, 4 ac which will be 4 times 2 the a uh, and um, so uh, minus 4 ac minus 4 times minus y that will be 4y times 2 that will be 8y divided by 2a that is 4 okay and and you can basically simplify this as uh, because this expression is equal to 2 plus minus s square root of 4 uh, plus y divided by 2 okay because 8 divided by 4 is 2 and here you can bring 4 inside this uh, square root uh, therefore that will be 16 64 divided by 16 is 4 and 8 divided by 16 will be equal to 2 so now you have x as a function of y so all you need to do you need to uh, wherever you see x you write it y and wherever you see uh, y you write it as x okay and that is the inverse of your function okay so that's the solution let me uh, solve one more example and that will be the last one so if y is defined as 1 divided by x minus 1 uh, calculate the inverse of this function again the same story you need to express x as a function of y so you multiply y by this that is y x minus y is equal to 1 therefore x y will be equal to 1 plus y therefore x will be equal to 1 plus y divided by y okay so all you need to do here is to change x to y and y to x okay and that will be the inverse of this function okay so yeah so that's the way you calculate the inverse of a function i hope uh, you found this video helpful if you are interested please feel free to subscribe into this channel so that you get updated when i upload new videos thank you